I go on and on about keeping your tools sharp. Well, today I'm going to show you how to actually do it. Hey guys, I think pretty much every video I talk about the importance of keeping your tools sharp. Uh, so today I'm going to do an actual video on just that, just how to keep them sharp. Uh, I've even built a new strop for the occasion. I was going to film a separate video on this, but I literally just glued a piece of edge tan to a 2x4. So I didn't think you guys needed to watch that. Uh, if you want to watch me glue leather to wood, leave a comment below telling me. But otherwise I'm not going to. You can use a barber strop like this. This is for a straight razor. Uh, it works fine. I've been using it for a long time. Uh, with something like this though, it just stays nice and flat. These uh, barber strops tend to curl up on you. So this is going to stay nice and flat and just really help keep your edges straight. So what stropping actually does is when you cut something, your blades actually kind of curl and, and warp. So it's not, stropping is not sharpening a blade. Sharpening a blade actually removes material. Uh, I'm, I'm sure stropping does to some degree, but what stropping really does is when your edge starts to curl, stropping it actually just straightens that edge back out. So it's makes your tool sharper, but it's not the same as sharpening it. You will, like if you have notches or, or damage to the blade, you will need to actually sharpen it, but strop your tools before you use them every single time and they'll be nice and sharp. It just makes your life easier. So I will get into showing you how to do this. You'll just need a couple things. If you don't have a strop already, go make one now. Like I said, two by four, piece of leather, glue them together, good to go. Something else you should also have. This is Jewelers Rouge. It's essentially just an abrasive paste. This is a one pound block. I've had it since I started. I've used almost none of it. And this just goes on your leather and helps get a better edge quicker using it. You don't have to use this. A strop will work without it, but it works better with it. And then just get whatever blades you want to strop. I just have a bunch of different things in front of me here. And yeah, we'll jump right into it right now. Okay, so I'm going to start with the rouge. What I'm going to do is just, just rub some on the leather here. Yeah, that's probably good enough. And what you're going to do, take your blade. Now, some blades are beveled on both edges and some are beveled on one. This is beveled on the one edge and it's flat on the other. So you want to keep that in mind. So what I like to do, you just want to put it down, make sure that you're, when you're pulling it across, you're sitting it on that bevel so that you're not changing the shape and you're just going to pull it across and you don't need that much pressure. And I can already feel that it's sharper. One thing I like to do is just put it flat and then you're just going to run it and just make sure that you haven't stropped past where it should be just keeps the backside nice and flat. And then once I'm done on there, I don't know if I need to, but I usually just go on bare leather. Next, I use my uh, indispensable knife here. Same idea, just put it on the bevel. You can even use your disposable blades to make them last quite a bit longer. This is still the same blade that I started leather working with. These are beveled on both sides. So you're going to do one side and then you're also going to do the second. Okay. 
The other thing you can do is you can do some of your other tools. Like if this would focus, you can actually use your strops to take off some of that black stuff that comes on your diamond punches. And it's just the same method, just get one side done. And then the other. And keeping these sharp will uh, let them go through your leather a lot faster. And I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it's taking off the black stuff that comes on these. That helps uh, so they don't stick into your leather when you pull them out. And those aren't the only tools that you can strop. You can strop pretty much anything that cuts or pierces any piece of leather. Those are just the ones that uh, I strop on the big strop. You can also strop tools like your French edger by just cutting a small piece of leather that actually fits in the groove there. And then you're just going to do it the same way, just making sure that it stays inside the groove of the edger there. Same thing with your edge beveler. I do it by, I have a piece of string attached to my workbench here. And I rub Jewelers Rouge on here and then strop it along the string. Works great. You can buy one of those plate things too if you want to sharpen those. I haven't found a need to. String works just fine. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments as well as uh, if you leave a like on this video. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, it will link anything that I used here down below in the description. Although I don't think you need much. I'll link the rouge and my tools, maybe. I'll link a barber strop too, if you'd rather just buy one. Or there's uh, strops like this that you can buy. Yeah, check down below in the description. I'll link some things you can go buy it if you want. Otherwise you can make your own. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.